Hi, I'm Greg Nelson, and just wanted to cover uh, some of the really neat things we find here in Minnesota, uh, where the archaeological record goes back to just after the glaciers melted away. So we're talking 9, 10, 11,000 years ago, people started moving into this area and we find their artifacts, but we find them from that time all the way forward to what we call the point of contact when Europeans came into the area in the 1600s and ushered in the fur trade. And so these artifacts here are all found from around Steele County and they represent those metal artifacts, those metal tools, implements, adornments that were ushered in during the fur trade era. So you'll see here some knives. These are, these are really old knives, they're fragile. Uh, it's important for us to get them uh, collected from private property where we have permission from the landowners before they're rusted away and gone forever. Uh, you'll see a trade axe, what you might think of as that traditional tomahawk looking tool weapon. Um, I think they probably cut a lot more wood with it than anything else. Uh, and you also see here some really neat adornments which can help us understand just, you know, the pride people took in their appearance and some of the cultural um, aspects that they brought into their tools and, and their adornments. These are, we kind of think they're probably fish effigies. They were sand cast in the field, probably by the Native American. You'll see a ring there as well. Um, and, and this is just a really fun aspect that bookends both the paleo time all the way up until the end of the fur trade era um, and, and the archeological record in Steele County. Thank you for listening to our presentation here from the Steele County Historical Society, where our mission is to preserve and share history today for tomorrow.